And we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you how you can create these comic speech and thought bubbles. We need a new layer right here. Make it transparent. I'll call this bubble. And now we'll use the ellipse select tool. E is the short key for it. You want to have the second mode active for adding parts to selection. If you have the first one active, the last one will be deleted when you create a new one. So let's start here with the first mode. We have our first bubble. And I switch to the second one and I can add these smaller ones like this. All three are selected. I use the paint bucket tool. You can press shift B for that. Make it white, left click. It's still selected, we'll flip the colors and we'll go to edit stroke selection. Line width 20 and solid color is active on the stroke line. I confirm via stroke. Then shift control A to deselect. Now we can use the type tool and add some text. Just activate it, left click on the canvas, type it in, then press Ctrl A to select it all and you can adjust it. I use Comic Sans. And then I reposition it up to here. If you want to make it a speech bubble, we'll start with a new layer again. It's transparent. I'll create my ellipse. Now I make this white using the paint bucket tool. Shift Ctrl A to deselect. Then I create a new layer. I'll call that bubble two. Once again, it's transparent. I use the pass tool. Hold Ctrl when you want to close your shape right here. And then you can hover over the lines and left click drag to make them a little bit curvy. Once you're done, right click select from path. Yet again, paint bucket tool, left click on it to make it white. Shift Ctrl A to deselect and now merge these two layers via the function down here. And we've got our speech bubble. I'll reposition that slightly and now we'll add the stroke. Right click on it, alpha to selection, edit and stroke selection yet again. Make sure to flip the color so that it's black. And then add your text. And this is how you can create these comic speech and thought bubbles in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.